In this video, we are going to analyze the packaging criteria of a dangerous goods shipment. As example, we would like to ship via air these four plastic cans containing each one liter of acetone. The way to proceed is anyway equivalent for all modes of transport. First of all, we have to choose the packing instruction based on the amount to be shipped. We select the 353, which are valid for both passenger and cargo aircraft, and permit us to use one package only. The packing instruction 353 does not allow single packaging, so we have to use a combination packaging. Plastic inner packaging are allowed for a maximum of 5 liters each, so we can use our 4 plastic cans containing 1 liter each. As outer package, we can use a fiberboard box. The code for G means that it must be a UN specification packaging. So we select this UN 4G package. The letter Y indicates that the packaging has been tested to contain products of packing group 2 or 3. So it can be used to contain acetone with packing group 2. In addition, the final gross weight of the package must not exceed 7 kg. Our plastic cans are equipped with a secondary means of closure, so we can avoid intermediate liners. It's important to double check the gross weight using a scale. Are we forgetting something? Is there any specific item that we have not properly considered? By checking in details the performance test report for this package, we find out that the inner packagings used for the test are different from those we would like to use for our shipments. The use of inner packaging with different properties from those used for the performance test means breaking the transport regulation with all the relative risk and consequences for the shipper. So there are three possible solutions. Replace the inner packaging with other identical to those Use it during the test. This solution is feasible if there is no issue for the shipper to replace his cans. A second chance is to keep the existing inner packaging, having them tested together with the outer package in order to obtain a specification package. This solution requires a major initial effort, but it is certainly the most appropriate for frequent shipments. Serpac is a company specializing in UN specification packaging and it's able to fully support your request from the performance testing till the package manufacturing. In the first solution, you may still use your own inner packaging, but using a V-rated outdoor packaging. In this case, a 4GV that may be assembled with any inner packaging and containing liquid or solid of packing group 1, 2 or 3. 
this is a faster solution, but it requires a more complex package preparation with an intermediate containing package and with sufficient absorbent material to contain all the liquids inside. The specific instruction marked on the package must be strictly followed, taking into consideration the maximum weight of the inner packaging, the gross weight and the minimum distance that the inner packagings must keep from each other, from the top, the bottom and the lateral sides. The right choice, it's up to you. Changing your inner packaging, requesting a dedicated performance test or by using a V-rated package. But do not forget that improvisation is an unacceptable risk.